It has been a spectacular afternoon here at the Chicagoland Speedway in Joliet, Illinois. More than 75,000 fans are here watching the 18th race of the NASCAR Nextel Cup season. Temperature in the low 90s, not a cloud in the sky. Beautiful day for racing. Let's get an update from those pit stops, starting with Alan Bestwick. Well, Steve Meal is Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s crew chief. You have the lead. How'd you get it? Uh, we got two tires instead of four, but track position has been killer for us, and our car makes a lot of downforce, so it means it loses a lot of downforce in traffic. So typically when Junior runs by himself, he can run quicker than when he's around other cars. We just want to get him out front, get the Budweiser people a little bit of fun. And, and I think a lot of there's a lot of good cars between us and the 17 that got two, and they're going to race like mad. So it remains to be seen what happened, but either day these guys and all the guys in the shop and everybody cooperating at DEI have done a terrific job turning this thing around. Thanks, Steve. Thank you. Steve Meal, there's the thinking. And Earnhardt Jr. is the leader among the cars that pitted. Scott Wimmer in the 22 car did stay out. Well, Steve brings up a good point. There's a lot of cars in between him and Kenseth, and those guys are going to be racing really hard. So if Earnhardt can get out in that clean air, and we're talking about the downforce, clean air, that means it's pushing the car into the racetrack better. Matt Kenseth took four tires. He's ninth. Tony Stewart took four tires. He's tenth. Up front, the eight the 19, the 25 of Vickers, the six of Mark Martin, Jimmy Johnson, and Kurt Busch, all with two tires. They don't have anybody lap down, pulling up. On the inside, he's restarting. There's Kurt Busch trying to make a move on, is that Jimmy Johnson? And Johnson's going by Mark Martin on yep. the outside. And Brian Vickers looks to the inside of Mayfield. Wow, Jimmy Johnson got a start. Just three, past three cars. And update. Right, that's okay. Well, they were talking about it on the radio, the two-tire change. Jimmy Johnson and crew chief Chad Canales and Chad said, well, what the heck? At least we got the right rear on there. That's what I really want to make sure we got changed. Three wide off turn for Jimmy Johnson on the outside. Man, he's looking good. In a cushion. And 17 car, here he comes, Kenza. Awesome job, buddy. Rack behind you, Rack behind you. Caution is out. Jeff Gordon involved. He and Mike Bliss. Mike Bliss. I heard Mike Bliss. I... The, um, his day just got worse, didn't it? And it's, it was already bad. Yeah. So now I'm thinking if I took two tires, I'm feeling a little bit better. Yep. Yellows are your friends. Yep. Kenseth has worked his way up to the seat. Sixth. Sixth, yep. Sixth position. The more laps you can run under yellow, the less laps you got to have Kenseth trying to catch you. Yep. Yeah. And then Tony, Tony's been right with him. Tony is up to seven. Let's see if we have any idea what might have happened. That's in progress. No. Right the center. Uh, go on board with the 11, Jason Leffler, and see if we can see anything. Well, there's Mike Bliss there on the inside. That's what happened. Yep, just got in. Got into uh, Jeff Gordon's left rear core panel. That was pretty self-explanatory right yeah. there. You don't need to really elaborate on that one. Wow. So Gordon will take a hit in the points in addition to the hit on the track. And Jeff talked on the uh, countdown to green about top tens would be nice. Not today. Currently scored in 29th. So Scott Wimmer continues to lead. He stayed out under the last caution. Jeff in the ambulance. Mandatory ride to the infield care center. Bernard Jr. is second. Then it's Vickers, Johnson, it's Mayfield, and Kenseth. It's a cooler, really. It's like a big cooler. And if he's going there to cool off for a little while. Next weekend, don't miss NASCAR action on TNT from New Hampshire International Speedway. It all starts Saturday with Bud Pole qualifying at 1.30 Eastern. Then at 3 Eastern, it's NASCAR Busch Series racing from Loudoun. Next Sunday on TNT, the race to the chase continues with the NASCAR Nextel Cup Series presented by Subway. Coverage begins at 1.30 Eastern with the Bank of America countdown to green. More NASCAR next weekend on TNT. Let's talk to crew chiefs, Alan. Robbie Reiser, Matt Kenseth's crew chief. Have you ever heard the phrase sitting duck when that last caution came out on the pit strategy? Well, I mean, we've had the best car here all day, and uh, it's a real, you know, tribute to all the guys back at our shop that work really hard. Uh, you know, all season long we've struggled, and they've 
done a lot of work for us to get the car running like this today. So, uh, you know, whenever you got the best car out there, you got to put tires to it. And uh, that's what we did, put tires to it, and we'll see what happens here. Got three in that little short run of racing. Does Matt think he has enough time to get the rest? I think we, I think we got, uh, you know, hopefully we got enough time here. You know, otherwise it's going to look like a bad call. But, uh, you know, rule of thumb is you get the best car, you put four tires on and go for, go for it. So that's kind of what I did. I knew I was going to get beat by a few guys that put tires on because, uh, you know, they got to gamble to try to get this thing. So we got to back up and get back up there and get them. All right, Robbie, thanks. All right, thanks. Matt, yours. Tony Stewart has climbed up three spots now. Zippy, how does this shake things up? The caution, looking at some guys have no fresh tires, two tires, and four like yourself. Well, I think four tires is the best thing. It's hot here today. Uh, Goodyear's brought a really cool tire. It's, it it kind of gives up if you abuse it. We've seen some blisters. We've seen some guys wearing stuff out. Kind of puts it back in the driver's hands of uh, how hard they can go and which corner they can push it. Um, Home Depot Chevrolet's been great for our second one this weekend, but uh, this team's done a great job. It just shows kind of what uh, I think what this team is made of. Nobody put their heads down. Everybody just kept digging all weekend. Guys at the shop brought us up another car, and uh, couldn't be prouder to just be part of this 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 group here and uh, the run we've had in the last month. Um, Tony, I know he's hurting, uh, but he's hanging in there. He's done a great job today. And ascribe the turnaround because, yes, Michigan was a huge indicator, but you had a, a plate win and also road course win. Does this mean you guys have turned the corner in the non-plate racing like here at Chicago? <laughs> well, I hope so. Um, you know, and this, is, this is a racetrack we've run really well at in the past. Um, we, uh, we've got good cars. We've got great motors. We just uh, we needed to put everything together, and uh, we've been able to do that in the last couple of weeks. So um, hopefully we won't forget how to do that. We'll continue it. And, uh, you know, just uh, like I said, proud of everybody at Joe Gibbs Racing uh, for, for their effort. We, uh, we got off to a little slow start at the beginning of this year, and, uh, you know, they've all stood behind us and, and been digging, working a lot of hours. And, uh, you know, everybody in this sport works a lot. But, uh, you know, it's easy to get down and, uh, and, and get a little stale when you're not doing good. And uh, our guys have worked really hard. I'm proud of them. I'd say they've had some good runs here at Chicago, a third, a second, and last year a first, and he currently sits seventh, Alan. All right, I'm going to lean across the car chief, Mike Kelly, pardon me, and talk to crew chief Jimmy Fennick. Jimmy, you took two tires on that stop. He's going to talk to Kurt there for a second. You took two tires on that stop, but you had a little trouble getting off pit road. Do you have enough time to get back what you lost? Well, we gambled on two tires. Some of these guys took four, and then uh, we were coming out as the 32 was coming in, so that kind of set us back. We had to stop, so we lost all our uh, track position there. So we'll see what we get out of it. All right, Jimmy, thanks. Still under caution here at Chicagoland. Not getting enough NASCAR today. How about tomorrow night on CNBC NASCAR Gold? They go behind the scenes to look at the sport. It's an in-depth one-hour look at NASCAR. From the corporate boardrooms to the pits in the Daytona 500 NASCAR Gold Monday night at 8 and again 11 p.m. Eastern on CNBC. We have see Sterling Marlin's 40 car is uh, about to give up the ghost. I think Sterling might as well... Uh, He's on down in the garage here and beat the traffic. <laughs> if he can get there. Doesn't sound too good. Scott Wimmer in front. And I talked to Bill Davis this morning, his car runner in the, in the garage. He says, we're not ready to win, but we sure do need a good finish. They have basically crashed out, according to Bill, in nine of the first 17 races this season, and a lot of it not by their own doing. And when, you, when you've got a young guy in your car, you got to get him laps, and Scott just has not, has not gotten a lot of laps this year. All right, we're just about to go green. 13 laps to go after the green flag is waved. Can Kenseth get up to the front? Can Junior get by Wimmer? It's like Jimmy Johnson last time was a hero on the restart. And experience versus experience, two tires versus four tires. Waiting, waiting. Green flag back out at Chicagoland. Green flag, green, green. Junior got a good restart. But here comes Jimmy Johnson on the inside of Junior. That's Vickers. Brian Vickers. With Vickers. Johnson's going on the outside of Vickers. Vickers had to back off the gas down in one, and Johnson goes by. Shot by him. He's got to run. Back up to the top. It worked before. Matt Kenseth gets by the 19. Or is trying Whoa, to. Here comes Stewart. Tony Stewart. Three wide down in one. And Stewart goes by Matt Kenseth. The apron has been a popular place to pass today. That's what these guys need up front. They need that 17 car to be held up just a little bit. And there goes Earnhardt. For the lead, Earnhardt Jr. 
He's got it. Can he keep it? Can he keep it? There's some serious competition coming behind him. Tony Stewart, and, and here comes Wimmer back. Check out Scott Wimmer in that 22 car. He goes back in the front. 